Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Edward III just for a couple more days. I mean, we we get to hear from King Edward III today in Act Five, Scene One, which is the only scene in Act Five, and it's the final scene of the play. And things are getting wrapped up. Um, Calais basically surrendered to Edward, and he forgave most of them, even though he's you know taken the city over. But he decided that he doesn't have to kill the six guys who came out naked to prostrate themselves in front of him. And then Copeland showed up with David, the King of Scots, and he, Copeland got knighted. David's been taken like into custody. And then yesterday we had the Earl of Salisbury show up to say basically, hey, we've won, but I might also have some really bad news for you. I believe Prince Edward died because we saw him. He was completely surrounded by the French and we saw the battle start to go and like there's no way he could have gotten out of that. So I'm sorry to tell you, I think your son is dead. And Queen Philippa does not take this well. She's, she's like, this is why I came to France. I came to France to find out that my son is dead. And um, King Edward III responds to her by saying, content thee, Philip, tis not tears will serve to call him back if he be taken hence. Comfort thyself as I do, gentle queen, with hope of sharp, unheard of, dire revenge. He bids me to provide his funeral, and so I will. But all the peers in France shall mourners be, and weep out bloody tears until their empty veins be dry and sere. The pillars of his hearse shall be his bones, the mold that covers him their city ashes. His knell, the groaning cries of dying men, and in the stead of tapers on his tomb, an hundred fifty towers shall burning blaze while we bewail our valiant son's decease. So King Edward III does not deal well with grief. <laughs> he, he gets very angry here, and he wants to take it out on all of France, that his son is now dead. He's like, we're not going to play music at the funeral. There's only going to be the sound of Frenchmen dying. It's going to be the only sound at the funeral. Uh, it's what he's getting at here. He wants to, he wants to punish France for killing his son. Fortunately for France, an English herald comes in right then and he's like, ha ha, Prince Edward is returned with some captives. And Prince Edward comes in with King John and King John's son Philip and a bunch of other people. And Queen Philippa is like, ha ha, I'm so glad to see you. Mwah, mwah, hi, honey. And King Edward is like, oh, cool, this is great. And Prince Edward is like, hi, I'm back. I did some good things. And here's my prisoners. I am turning them over to, to your custody. And King Edward looks at King John. And he's like, so you said that you were going to come upon us sooner than we thought. And that's true. And John is like, just, just tell me what's going to happen to me. And King Edward is like, well, what's going to happen to you is you'll find out when you get back to England where we're going to take you and do whatever it is that we want to do to you. But Prince Edward is going to have something to say about that and we will get to hear that tomorrow. So I will see you then. Mwah.